Yeah, cryptocurrency markets have been in focus as Bitcoin continues to uh, make impressive moves and kind of lifting the entire group of coins that we talk about here on a daily basis along with it. Uh, the space of education in the cryptocurrency market and also the mining side of things in the cryptocurrency market. Uh, very, very interesting one. Cloud9 Web3 Technologies has a, a very interesting concept that we're going to hear about here uh, today. Sefton Fincham is president and CEO of Cloud9 Web3 Technologies and joins us on the show. Good to see you, Sefton. Thanks for doing this hey. uh, today. Uh, this is a really interesting concept, and I want to jump right into things here. First of all, just give us an overview of how things got started with the company, but uh, I really want to jump right into the actual platform that you guys have created because it's, it's really interesting. Sure, yeah, the company was developed uh, uh, several years ago during the first kind of boom in uh, cryptocurrency. And um, it was developed as a software-driven uh, crypto mining device where you could download it onto your computer. And once you downloaded it, it would just start mining cryptocurrencies on your computer. Um, it, the, the company had a, a time when, you know, obviously in 2017, everything kind of shifted. Um, and we, you know, we, we, put development to the side a little bit. And then in the in the last couple of years, um, we started to kind of ramp things up and realized that it was something that was much more efficient and um, um, uh, productive for the general public, as opposed to, um, you know, just going out and buying cryptocurrencies. So that's kind of where we've focused our mandate. I love the fact that you've included an education portion into this, because I think there's a lot of people out there that are still kind of, you know, not uneducated, but uh, still wondering a lot about uh, the cryptocurrency market. So this is a multifaceted approach kind of uh, to this uh, topic and to this space in that we're talking about trading, we're talking about education, we're talking about even, you know, a wallet to hold some of these coins in. Let's let's go through each one of these sure. and yeah. explain how they work. So, yeah. So, so, you know, it's a very intimidating industry. And so we we wanted to focus this on being something that would be an easy gateway into cryptocurrency for the general public, for the average Joe, so to speak. And, um, you know, where we wanted to kind of fixate was, was the education uh, position first. We wanted to show people that this is where it begins. Um, this is where um, you know, this is how cryptocurrencies work. This is how, um, you know, all these different kind of intimidating factors of this industry work, blockchain, all this kind of stuff. So we created kind of a funnel. And in doing that, um, we, we, we created a vertical called Next Decentrum. And Next Decentrum has courses, it has quick and dirty guides to blockchain, cybersecurity, all these different, um, you know, verticals within that space. Uh, but we, we we focused on the education side first. And what we did is we created that funnel, whereas people will come in, learn a little bit about it first, and then we gave them early access into a um, into a software that would cut the intimidation out of buying cryptocurrency. So, you know, you download this, this platform onto your computer, your computer um, begins utilizing the um, bandwidth on the computer to mine cryptocurrencies. And so um, that would give you kind of that early stage into cryptocurrency without having to spend money, without having to go to these crypto uh, exchanges and, um, you know, go and send money to God knows where and have this little code be used to send, you know, money into this new wallet that you've got, you know, it's a very intimidating process. So we wanted to kind of cut that and, and give people a, an opportunity to get in in a very quick, efficient and safe manner. Um, and so that's where we kind of began. Um, we also offered a VPN as a gateway into um, that to, to, to securitize the computer that the cryptocurrencies are going on to. And then we also uh, created, a, uh, in recent months, uh, an X2 wallet and a platform for trading from cryptocurrency into fiat or creating, uh, trading into, uh, from cryptocurrencies into other cryptocurrencies and altcoins. So that's kind of the, um, the ecosystem, so to speak, of uh, the Limitless platform and the Next Decentrum platform. And those were two pillars that we focused on first and foremost. And then the third pillar, which we're um, in the midst of uh, focusing on is uh, the data center side of things. But I wanna just you know touch on the point that our, our mandate truly is focusing on the decentralization of crypto mining. Um, we, we, we've got a, a, 
a keen eye on uh, decentralized storage as well. But the decentralized element of building a user base uh, is what is really key to what we are. We want to build out that user base. We want to build out the ability to add applications to more and more users, have millions and millions of users, because when the Phoenix rises out of the ashes, if a winter comes for this industry, that's where um, we see the longevity. And the value as well. And I want to uh, talk a little bit about some of these uh, testing and beta versions of the software. Uh, if somebody's getting into this for the first time, it's a great opportunity to kind of get your feet wet a little bit uh, and experience what this is like without really you know, being overly committed or overly educated. We'll talk about the revenue here in a second, but give everyone an overview of how the beta version testing is going and what the user base looks like today. It's great. Um, you know, we're on a 5,000 user beta uh, testing round right now. Um, we've got, uh, you know, we, we, we probably could have unveiled the, the tech to the general public sooner, um, but we really wanted to harness the issues that our beta users were having and we wanted to correct them and make sure that it's the best possible product we have a wait list of 125,000 users right now um, and it's growing every single day once we start onboarding we'll be able to do 10,000 users a week um, and um, with some acquisitions we're looking at we're hoping to build that into millions and millions of users in the in the coming months and years so um, it's very exciting We've got an intermediate, um, intermediate uh, position in, in this as well, which is the micro block miner, which um, once you get to that place where the, the, you've downloaded the um, software onto your computer, we also have a device that you can buy. Uh, it's much like an Xbox or a PS5. Um, and it, it looks like one and you, 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 it gets mailed to you. It's about $600, $700. Uh, you plug it in your in your wallet home and it's a software driven hardware so you can choose what cryptocurrency you want to mine there's about six that we offer right now and um, you plug it into the wall it connects to our x2 platform same platform that the um, uh, the the mining software on the computer links to and um, you can plug that in it mines about eighty dollars worth of cryptocurrency per month and uh, that's our intermediate that's how we're, 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 we're we're kind of giving the general public that ability to, you know, step and gap up into these different um, levels of the industry. So on a breakdown, people hear that number and, you know, their ears kind of perk up and they say, hey, I can maybe make $80 a month. Let's let's break down the revenue model here. How is the company actually, um, you know, producing revenue first off uh, on a split basis here? And, and, you know, let's really talk about a little bit yeah. how people can profit from this as well. Yeah, so the monetization for the for the actual company is is very simple. So um, when you download this software on your computer, we give you the ability to um, mine cryptocurrency using that software. Um, in doing so, we also securitize your computer with a, a virtual private network. And um, we also have the ability to um, offer, obviously, a, a position in what we're mining on that computer. We started the company not doing that. We started the company just offering a free VPN and uh, in doing that, we would use the unused bandwidth and we would uh, mine cryptocurrencies and the, the company did very well in the early stages at that point. With the beta version, obviously, and, and you know, going through things, we learned that, um, you know, we wanted to let people participate in mining these cryptocurrencies. So um, we offer a 50% profit share on that. And our user, um, our user profit per month, it ranges between 10 to $12 per user per month on the software, on the computer. And that all is dependent on the computer. So on gaming computers, it's a lot higher. On, you know, older computers, it's, it's you know, it can be about $6 a month. But um, an average, floating average is around 10 to $12. And we split that with the, the user. So, you know, for the general um, public, for the average user, you know, you can make $6 a month off your computer. And it's just sitting in the background of your computer. It's not doing anything uh, that would uh, compromise what you would do on a daily basis. Sefton Fincham is uh, president and CEO of uh, Web3, uh, Cloud9, I apologies, Web, uh, Cloud9 <laughs> Web3 Technologies. Uh, let's wrap things up with a little bit of a, a look forward here, uh, Sefton, as we uh, kind of wrap up uh, our chat. Uh, give us a look at what is next, uh, how the beta will wrap up, and then what can people look forward to in the future? 
Yeah, I mean, just to kind of touch on this one more time, we're we're very focused on the decentralized network side of things. You know, we really want to build an army of users out there, an army of miners. Uh, every computer is a miner. Uh, every computer can be considered a node. We want to build out a massive base of users and, and apply applications to those users. Uh, in doing that, we've had a focus on decentralization, focus on storage, focus on crypto mining. And now we're looking at data centers. Um, we're looking at um, a few opportunities right now to build out and to actually acquire uh, data centers in this industry. So, um, you know, that's kind of the roadmap that I can discuss today. Uh, it's very exciting. We've got some incredible things on the cusp. And uh, I think um, our stakeholders are going to be very pleased with uh, how things go over the next few months. Uh, great space to be involved in and an interesting time to be involved in that space. Uh, I, I hope we can touch base again and uh, get an update in the future because uh, it's a very interesting idea. Best of luck. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Guys, check it out. It's uh, CNI, uh, stock ticker on the CSE, and CLGUF, uh, OTC Markets, Cloud9, Web3 Technologies. Thanks.